हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल सी द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन काइनेटिक्स ऑफ कर्विलिनियर मोशन सो देर मे बी फ्यू एग्जांपल्स ऑन काइनेटिक्स ऑफ कर्विलिनियर मोशन एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम्स कैन बी सॉल्व्ड आइदर बाय यूजिंग कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी मींस व्हाट वी हैव टू डू के ई वन प्लस पी ई वन काइनेटिक एनर्जी एट वन प्लस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एट वन इज इक्वल टू के ई टू प्लस पी ई टू एंड इवन दो इफ सम स्प्रिंग इज इन्वॉल्व देर मे बी स्प्रिंग एनर्जी वन प्लस स्प्रिंग एनर्जी टू और वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट फोर्स इन टू एफ इन टू एस इज इक्वल टू हाफ एम फाइनल वेलॉसिटी स्क्वेर माइनस इनिशियल वेलॉसिटी मीन्स वर्क डन इज इक्वल टू चेंज इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी or sometimes we can use the newton second law also we can use normal and tangential components also fn is equal to m at and ft is equal to m at so it's not m at it is fn is equal to एफ एन इज इक्वल टू एम ए एम एंड एफ समेशन एफ टी इज इक्वल टू एम ए टी मीन्स बाय यूजिंग सच वेरी सिंपल फॉर्मुलेज वी कैन सॉल्व द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ काइनेटिक्स ऑफ कर्विलिनियर मोशन सच वन और टू एग्जाम्पल्स वील सी एंड दीज आर वेरी फेमस फ्रिक्वेंटली बींग आस्ट इन द एग्जाम ए फिफ्टी के जी बॉल सस्पेंडेड बाय थ्री मीटर डिस्क्राइब्स an arc of a circle leftward leftward i shown in figure if the tension in the string is 2.5 times the weight of the ball for the position i shown in i shown determine the velocity and acceleration of the ball in that position means in this position we have to get what is the velocity and acceleration of this ball so the first thing is what whenever kinetics example is there draw the pre body diagram and then pre body diagram what we will have to do so we will have to cut this cable cut this cable means if suppose this is the bob then in that case so whatever this supports vertical line is there like so this it will make 30 degree angle so this will make 30 degree angle and there will be a tension in this cable so this is being cut similarly the weight of this bob it is our ball it is mg vertically downward and this angle and this will be in the direction of x or in the direction of the tension so this angle and this angle will be same and it may move it may move like this so this direction is going to be tangential direction this is going to be tangential direction correct so this is the tangential direction unit vector in tangential direction but in the pre body diagram only we have to consider the forces and if you consider this angle is 30 this is also 30 then what is given that <coughs> tension in the string is 2.5 times the weight weight is mg means if we use so this direction it is the tangential direction means it is the normal direction along the radius so it is the normal direction then what we have to do summation fn is equal to m am m a n and summation f n is what if we consider this is the normal direction t minus m g cos 30 m g cos 30 so this is summation f n is equal to m v square by r r means that radius and it is mentioned 3 meters so what we'll get 2.5 mg 
2.5 mg minus mg cos 30 it is equal to m v square by r now here if you see it this m m m will get cancel it will get cancel and uh, what will get 2.5 g or g is common 9.81 in the bracket 2.5 minus cos 30 minus cos 30 is equal to v square by r is 3 and from this directly we will get the velocity and what is asked determine the velocity and acceleration in that position means in this position when it is coming down like this at that position we have to get this velocity and how we can get this velocity that 2.5 2.5 minus cos 30 minus cos 30 into 9.81 into 3 and if you take Six point nine three. This velocity is six point nine three meters per second. And again, what I'll suggest you make the calculations one second. So it is going to be nine point eight one into bracket two point five minus cos thirty. It is very very important cos 30 into 3 it is 6.93 it's correct and if it is 6.93 meters per second then second what is asked determine the velocity and acceleration of the ball means here <coughs> we have to get the acceleration also then acceleration how we can get it at and am First, for getting the acceleration, an, an is what? V square by r. V square by r is what? 6.33 square, 93 square by 3. And this an is going to be 16.02. 16.02 meters per second square. And in the tangential direction, in the tangential direction, we can use this Newton's second law, summation of t is equal to mat. From this, we will get tangential acceleration. Summation of t is what? In this direction, in this tangential direction, only what will be the force? mg sin 30. mg sin 30. It is equal to m at m at then what will get this m m it will get cancelled and at is going to be g into sin 30 9.81 into sin 30 it is 4.905 4.905 meters per second square meters per second square and if we are knowing at and an then a is going to be under root at square plus an square at is 4.905 square plus 16.02 square plus 16.02 square sixteen point seven five 
meters per second square. This is the acceleration. Means like this, such problems you can easily solve. We can get the velocity and we can get the acceleration. Now we'll go for the second example. Then in the second example, what is there? From A to, let us consider this position is C. I know what is asked 2 kg pendulum bob 1.5 meter is released, mean that length from rest when it is at A, as shown in figure. Determine the speed of the bob using work energy principle when it passes at a position of 60 degrees down from A. Means here what we have to do. So if we consider the work energy principle. By work energy principle what will happen if this is this distance this distance is going to be what if it is 1.5 this is 1.5 then it is what 1.5 sin 60 this vertical height h then from a to c from a to c by work energy principle by w e p what we can get? So, <coughs> by work energy principle, we will get the work done. Work done means weight at A, which is, which is acting in downward direction, into H. This mgh is the work done, is equal to half m v square, means the required velocity at this point C, minus u square. Then what happens? This m m will get cancelled. Nine point eight one into one point five sine sixty is equal to one by two v square minus zero square. Directly will get the velocity. Directly will get the velocity. Work energy principles problems are very small. So that nine point 81 into 1.5 into sin 60 into 2 it is equal to 25 raised to 0.5 or 1 by 2 root means 5.048 v is equal to 5.048 meters per second. So like this you can easily solve such examples of kinetics of curvilinear motion. Thank you.